A few years ago, I moved to Europe and had to buy a car. I got a tiny little Peugeot that wasn't the most impressive vehicle of all time, but it was super fuel efficient. In fact, it was rated at 6 liters per 100 kilometers. But here in the US, we don't really use liters or kilometers very often, so I don't really know how to compare the fuel mileage of my Peugeot to that of my other car. So let's use algebra to find the fuel consumption in miles per gallon, which is what we use in the US. So let's start with some facts. What do we know? Well, let's write down the problem statement. We have 6 liters per 100 kilometers, and I want to know how far would I travel on one gallon of gas. And how far means variable, because it's a question, so I have x miles. So this is telling me that I can travel 100 kilometers on 6 liters, and I want to ask, OK, well, then how many miles could I, could I travel on one gallon? But to solve this, we need to know a few unit conversions. We actually have to know two unit conversions in particular. Let me write the first one down. So the first one, I'm going to have to go from kilometers to miles. And you might already know that one kilometer is about 0 0.6 miles. And now, I'm going to want to divide both sides by the 0 0.6 miles. And this leaves me with the equation I'm going to use, which is 1 kilometer per 0 0.6 miles equals 1. Now you'll notice when people talk about uh, units, they use the word per. And per is just a, an English way of saying divided by. So I say there's 1 kilometer per 0 0.6 miles. Or it's $3 per person. That would be $3 divided by people. And that's what the per means. It's the division. So this is going to tell me how to get from kilometers to miles, but I'm also going to need to know how to get from gallons and liters. So while we're you know, writing down all our facts, why don't we write that down as well? So there are 3.8 liters in one gallon. So I divide by 3.8 liters, 3.8 liters, and then this gives me my last unit conversion I need, which is that one equals one gallon per 3.8 liters. Great. So now we have a problem statement, and then we have two conversions. And we notice that if we could convert the kilometers to miles and the liters to gallons, all the units would be perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to employ this trick, where I'm going to take my problem statement, here it is breaking out of the box, and I'm going to multiply both sides by one. So I have six liters per 100 kilometers, times 1 equals 1 gallon per x miles, again, times 1. Now, gallons and miles, these are the units I want. So I only want to apply the unit conversion to the left-hand side of this equation. So I'm basically, I'm going to ignore this 1. And I can do that because 1 over x times 1 is still 1 over x, so that's, there's no problem there. But I'm going to do some fancy footwork here. I'm going to rewrite this one in terms of something else I already know. I'm going to make this one correspond to one kilometer per 0 0.6 miles. So I'm just, if you will, rewriting what one equals. Now what we notice is that I, I can do some cancellation. I have kilometers here and kilometers here. And I cancel them out. So if you imagine dividing this and this by 6, I would get 1 and 0 0.1. OK? So now I've got one liter on top. And that's the only unit up there. And then I have 100 times 0 0.1. Well, that's just 10 miles equals 1 gallon per x miles. So already, we're halfway there. We knew in the beginning that it, I could go 100 kilometers on 6 liters. And now we know I can go 10 miles on 1 liter. OK, we're doing pretty good. Now let's use our last piece of knowledge, and we're going to do this multiplication by 1 trick again. So I'm just going to insert it right in here. And again, gallons and miles, these are the units I want. So I'm just going to ignore this 1, because again, 1 over x times 1, it's 1. But this guy right here, I'm going to rewrite him. And I'm going to rewrite him to look like this. Because remember, 1 gallon per 3.8 liters is just another way of writing 1. OK, we're pretty close. I've got liters here and liters here I can cancel. So now this is great. Already my units are good. Gallons per mile, gallons per mile. Great. Now I just multiply 10 by 3.8. I get 38. So now I have 1 gallon over 38 miles equals 
one gallon per X miles. And this is exactly what we want. Because remember we said our car can go 100 kilometers per six liters. We asked, well, how many miles can it go in one gallon? It can go 38 miles in one gallon. And if you wanted, you could cancel the gallons and cancel the miles, and you'd find out that x equals 38. And that's our miles per gallon. And that's our example of a more complicated unit conversion. Great job. Thank you.